Hello and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be painting the WizKids werewolves, uh, the two figures. Just the video is going to be concentrating on just the one, but there's a few bits at the end that I did to the other figure that were worth mentioning. So the figures have been primed and pre-shaded already. So I'm just adding um, a base coat of uh, Fire Slayer flesh contrast paint. It'll be interesting to see how this works. It came out a little darker than I expected. That's more to do with the pre-shade, I think, than anything else. But I thought it'd be an interesting starting point for adding the other flesh tones, uh, the Vallejo flesh tones, which uh, I use on a regular basis from the Vallejo flesh painting set. So you can see I'm just adding quite generous coats, just making sure you get into the nooks and crannies. And then I left them to dry for a good hour or two because they seem to take a little longer to dry out than the standard Citadel flesh tones. So with those dry, I mixed up on the wet palette three Vallejo flesh tones. Um, brown sand as the base coat, light flesh to lighten the coat, and black red to darken it. So started off for successively lighter coats. See, I'm just picking out the muscle detail. And you can see the first shade is pretty close to the contrast paint base coat that I added. So with the bit of paint retarder in the mix, you can really blend the colours in nicely. So by gradually highlighting or lightening the shade, um, you can add extra contrast to the muscles and so I, I suppose about two or three different shade steps with the last one being as sparing as possible as you can see I'm just like really highlighting the tops of the muscles areas that would catch the light in other words so you see a final going over with the lightest shade this is pretty much light flesh with a very tiny bit of brown sand in there so just to blend it in so you see I'm being very sparing just concentrating on details such as the fingers um, the face uh, and so on and so forth so something I didn't put at the beginning um, these are the three paints that I used see we've got the black red we've got the uh, brown sand and the light flesh so with this complete I did a very generous coating of Gore Grunter fur contrast paint to the fur areas I'm putting on really quite thick so it goes into the details and again using this as a starting point for further highlights but uh, really making sure all the areas are covered on both the figures um, because this is going to be highlighted further on so while that was drying I just thought I'd uh, put a wash of uh, Griffin sepia over his cod piece swimming trunks whatever um, again just over the, the uh, pre-shade it looked really quite good and these were highlighted further on as well so returning the next evening I thought the uh, flesh looked a little stark so using the black red mixed in with the uh, brown sand I went through some of the darker areas of the flesh tone just to fill them in to make them look a bit less stark this was obviously done on both figures and again it just sort of unified the paint finish a little bit it probably been better to have done this all in one go because then you can blend the colors in a bit more but it didn't really notice that much and it just made made it look a bit more natural before it looked a little bit um, the contrast was a bit too much so with that the flesh tones are pretty much done a few further highlights were added later on in the painting process but that was pretty much it so I started adding some highlights to his loincloth now using a shabdi bone darkened with a bit of moon fang brown and this is gradually lightened just as you got to the edge of the material and so on and so forth just to add a really nice contrast from the wash that was used effectively as a base coat so once this was done I moved on to the fur and I used pretty much moon fang brown to start with mixed up in the wet palette with a bit of paint retarder and then as the painting process went on I gradually added a bit more Ushabdi bone just to provide some highlights and also to catch some areas that have maybe been covered over by the uh, flesh tones that I'd missed so this allowed me to highlight them as well so as you see I'm just being very careful adding some to the back there just just to catch the light a little bit and then once this was done a uh, pretty much pure coat of Ushabdi bone with a tiny bit of Moonfang brown was mixed in to add some final highlights and this really produced a nice level of colour contrast from the, the dark base coat to the really light highlights. So you see I'm just adding some final bits of detail on his chest and with that the model was pretty much done. So you can see here the figure's pretty much painted. A few tiny little highlights were added afterwards. The only other thing to do was to do the chainmail on the other figure. So the area was given a wash of uh, Citadel Black Nulled Oil. Um, several coats, in fact. 
and then basically bits of the chainmail were picked out with Space Wolves grey. This was gradually lined, so it was almost a white when it got to the top of the model. So here are the two finished figures. It was interesting using the Games Workshop contrast flesh tones as a basis. They're a little dark, but I think that's more to do with the pre-shade than anything else. And they formed quite a good basis for the Vallejo flesh tones to go on top. So it was good fun all in all. Um, and I hope very much you've enjoyed the video. I shall see you next time. Now one last thing before I go, I've got several things on the bench ready to go. I've got this Reaper Dragon, which is all pre-shaded. Um, I've also got a really nice Reaper Shipwreck Revenant that uh, I'm looking forward to painting. And finally, something a bit different, I've got this Big Child Creatives Papa Jambo bust. So please let me know what you'd like me to paint next in the comments. And thanks again. Bye.